Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, I went ahead and took the drawing a little further. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly run through um, the, using the blending stump and what I did with the hair on the side, and I'm going to end the vid here to see the actual finished drawing. Go ahead and uh, uh, log on to uh, Flickr.com. Again, my name, uh, my username is darkchild69 on there, or conceptart.org, French slash forums, and my username is darkchild, no, no 69 on the end of that. Uh, and you and now concept art has has a lot of my drawings and um, Flickr only has like a handful of them concept art has actually has a lot more of my anatomy studies which features um, nudity which is why I don't post it on Flickr um, anyway so to start off let me just show you what I did here now remember I told you with the hair you just use utilize single lines lift, lift your pencil off with every line um, and then that way you can give give uh, give the in, individual strands of hair um, now I did the same thing with here uh, as well, and I kept on overlapping as much as I, I, I could, you know, not, actually as much as you want to. You can emphasize hair as much as you want. Like, here's a nice dark spot to signify there's a big clump that goes over. Uh, here's another dark spot. Uh, so what I do is I try to pick up as, uh, all the dark spots, and, and I, try, I try and bury the, 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 the spots here on the hair as best I could uh, with uh, in, in tune with the ref. Um, similarly right here, here's a few a few hairs that, uh, that kind of fold over each other. Uh, so which which uh, gives this part right here uh, a nice a nice dark line here and then here as well as a nice dark line then a nice dark line then her jaw starts right there now uh, this this the method for for doing hair uh, all or there's all different types of hair there's curly there's straight you know um, it, curly hair is gonna be a little bit different to do so uh, this is this is mainly just for the straight hair curly hair concepts same concept applies you want to you want to just go and build your tones up slowly start off with like a general rough draft of what your hair would look like and then slowly go on from there uh, as you put more graphite on top of the paper page it'll just cover over your existing tones and then uh, it'll keep on building it up as you go so um, uh, but you just say all you have to do is just, just make sure that your hair takes shape as what you want it to take shape as straight hair is very easy to do obviously I just got one piece right here and that's it curly hair you know there's a lot more mechanics of curly hair uh, which I may show in a different video um, yeah if I get if I uh, if I'm up to it um, I'm not great at hair so I will I will go ahead and skip the tutorial on hair here so but what I will be doing after I finish uh, after I finish this video is I'll just go in and I'll, I'll rough in um, more of the details here you know so and, and you notice I'm using single strokes all right, I'm not actually doing 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 the little little um, stuttered stroking like I see a lot of, a lot of artists doing. Um, single strokes for hair because you don't want any, want any breaks in the hair, um, and just make sure you're um, make sure you're not lifting your pencil off uh, too much. You know, so again, I'm just going like that. So I mean, you can't even see the hair when I'm going up here, but you know, every every little stroke actually counts and it does show to some degree, and it's it's all part of the overall details which will be in your final drawing, uh, and your, the whole the whole trick is to, is to trick the eye into seeing an image out of all these lines that you put together. So, with that in mind, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the blending stump. Now, this one's been used, as you can tell. There's a big, nice dark spot here. Uh, not so much on this end, but I'll be I I, I usually use the dark end because it actually already has some um, uh, graphite on there. Now, what you can do is if you don't like uh, if you don't want to have so much graphite, you just take a you know uh, scrap piece of paper like so. So put it right here really quick and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, go ahead and rub off some of the uh, graphite that's on there it's not essential but you know sometimes you want to clean it off or whatnot they, they, they also make uh, make little uh, sh uh, uh, sharpeners you can you can you can rub on top it's basically sandpaper and that you can clean it off with but you know this is this will do just fine I, I don't I really don't need to use the sandpaper so so just to show you I'm going to zoom in here real quickly here if I can get this thing to refocus properly oops not, not quite doing it here. Let's see. There we go. That looks a tiny bit better. Maybe I'll zoom out a little bit for you. Okay, so as you can see, the individual lines uh, on there right right at the moment, and uh, th those would be all the all the little cross hatching uh, deals I, I've done on there. Let's get this back into focus here. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is, um, let's start with the cheek here. Now the cheek here, um, this should be all blended together. 
uh, or can be, uh, instead of having, like, like you can see there's a definite dark spot here, then there's a definite white spot here. But if you want to give a little bit more gradient, uh, what you do, you don't even have to press hard. Just gently rub the, the, the uh, just let the weight of the, 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 the blending stump just touch the page. And you can just do in little circular motions, you know. Usually, if you, if what, what happens if you use like a pencil, you brush straight down, uh, it'll create a line, which you don't want, you know. Um, so... Uh, I, I just use uh, just little circles, small circular motions, and what I'm doing, I'm very lightly moving the graphite around so it actually blends it in. Now, it doesn't take much for, for graphite to move around, and if you're using this with charcoal, definitely won't take very much uh, pressure to move charcoal around. So, then also I'm blending it, I, and actually you may not just because the camera is uh, you know, not, not very good, but uh, as I'm moving the charcoal around, it actually creates a fine layer uh, of gradients and so and then obviously just like a real pencil you can just adjust the the the, um, the pressure that you're applying to the page to allow um, uh, the individual tones come out and of course if you want a darker tone just press a little harder I'm gonna do the eyelid here really quick I'm gonna say she has wearing eyeshadow so I'm just gonna make this part a little darker here and then I'm gonna fade it out like this very lightly I'm just gonna fade it out because there's a nice little white spot here and then the underneath her eye here so I'm just gonna go like this. So now, if, if this camera is any better, you can tell this is actually a lot smoother. And of course, if you log into Flickr and Concept Art, you can you can look at the end result and you'll see how much smoother this this would look right here. In fact, maybe I should just leave half of it uh, half of it crosshatch and the other half uh, uh, with a blending stuff just to show you what the difference is. But um, basically, this this would lend to a more realistic feel maybe somewhat artificial uh, uh, sometimes, depending on how, how well you're blending this stuff in. Um, so there you have it. That's basically the, the, the tool. I mean, it works just like a pencil, so it's very simple to use. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't take much uh, thought to use this. Just make sure you're adjusting your uh, uh, pressure on the page to get uh, the actual gradient that you desire. Uh, and there you have it. So right there, if I can maybe zoom out a little bit more here. Oh, my battery is running down on the camera, so I'm going to start ending the video here. So again, I would like to thank you all for watching. Um, and I want to say hello to all my Flickr friends and uh, all my concept art friends. Uh, it's been a blast to do this video, and I hope you enjoy watching it, although it's kind of long and boring. So <laughs> I'll end it up right here. So I'm signing off. Thank you.